Budget review committees will meet for three weeks over this issue, but joining us to talk more about today's presentation is District 1 Councilmember Joe LaCava. Councilmember LaCava, thanks for being here. I know it's a busy day for you. Thank you, Henry. Always happy to talk with KUSI. Yeah, let's break down uh, your thoughts on today's presentation. Obviously, no action was taken. What was the temperature from people who were there and maybe other council members about what their thoughts on uh, are on the direction this budget's going? Well, Hunter, I think it was a very positive response by my colleagues in the council, including myself. Of course, we're just starting to scrape the surface of what this budget is all about. Uh, the mayor gave us a very broad-based intro as well as city staff. Uh, but I think we're very encouraged. I'm, I'm especially encouraged uh, when I started putting my budget memo out. I said it was time to get back to basics, uh, a phrase that the mayor mm -hmm. bar borrowed. You know, we had added over 800 positions over the past couple of years. And I said, you know, vacant positions uh, budgeted do not help uh, deliver city services. And that's what residents expect out of us. And so we really held the line in this initial budget offered by the mayor uh, and tackling the issues that everybody's complaining about potholes addressing the needs of the homeless and preserving our public safety budget. And in fact, adding more civilian positions to the police department so that our officers can be out in the beat, keeping us all safe. How uh, does it work when we see $120 million more than what was last proposed uh, in 2022? A lot of people, of course, raising concern over whether we're going to see tax increases. What are you uh, feeling about this? And maybe uh, what are your thoughts on how this is going to uh, to be met? Well, what we're looking to be laser focused is we have to deliver a, bu a balanced budget. So come June, when that final budget is adopted, it has to be ba balanced. Uh, we do have a little bit of federal dollars left over uh, from the relief funds during COVID. Uh, we're going to be using the last of that. So we have to be very, very judicious in terms of how we set our budget. Uh, 120 million is certainly a big number. It's a small percentage of the total five billion dollar budget, as you described. Sure. Uh, but I, you know, I think all the council members are being very thoughtful and careful about. We don't have a lot of room to maneuver in this year's budget. Uh, we're hoping for some increases in revenue, both in. Uh, property tax, sales tax, and mm -hmm. TOT taxes as we come out of the impact from COVID. Uh, and we're starting to see some very predictable increases. And so we think that will really carry uh, the conversation going forward. But there's really no room for uh, council members to try to get in more pet projects going right. forward. A lot of ideas I have, I'm, I'm going to have to put aside mm. uh, to make sure that we balance that budget come June. Because, of course, everybody watching this right now, as you mentioned, uh, with changes from the pandemic also impacting where revenue is going to be seen. Uh, any last thoughts, anything that you're expecting to see maybe as we start heading into those review uh, meetings in the next week or so? Do you think we're going to see a very different budget when it's adopted or do you see it sticking pretty much to what we have now? Yeah, I think you'll see it stay pretty close. There might be some fine tuning of uh, the mayor will get additional projections about revenue uh, that they'll bring into what we call the May revise come May 15th. So we may see some tweaking around the edges. Uh, council members will really have to talk with one another at the, those uh, budget review committee meetings, sure. as you mentioned, to really decide what are our priorities. Do we want to shift money from one pot to another pot? But there really is not going to be any opportunity to, to ask for new things that are not already presented in the current proposed budget. All right. Council Member LaCava, I didn't even get to maybe touch on some of the other uh, things we're talking about. The equity focus. Hopefully we can have you back on to discuss more what that means, what that's going to look like. We've run out of time now, but we appreciate you taking a, a moment to stop by. Did you want to add anything? No, thank you, Hunter. I'm okay. always happy to come back and touch on some of the other uh, yeah. issues that you raised. We'll dive deeper into it next time. Okay. Council Member LaCava, we appreciate it. Have a good night. Okay, you too. Thank Thanks. you very much.